Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and it's time again to plant some garlic. I thought I'd do a quick video on when and how to plant garlic. Uh, and you know, bearing in mind that I'm in Zone 6A, Nova Scotia, Canada, so you know, adjust these things forward or backwards depending on where you are and your growing conditions. Uh, so for me, when I plant garlic is as close to the first frost as I can get. And as far as I know, or the first night, to put it another way, the first time we have the first night where they say there's a risk of frost, risk of frost, that's when I think, okay, time to put garlic in. So the general principle with garlic is that you want to plant it early enough in fall that it can put out roots, right? Plant the little uh, cloves, but late enough that it doesn't put out roots and start to send up a shoot, right? When the garlic's sending up the shoot, it's using the energy stored in the bulb to reach for sun, to reach for the sun. You don't want it doing that because it's not going to be able to achieve that, you know, achieve the full, the whole, the, the full realization of that goal, right? Uh, in the spring, it grows, it gets sunlight, it grows more and more and more and more and becomes this, you know, three foot high thing. Uh, you don't want the, the garlic to think it's time for that to happen, right? So you want the garlic to set its roots out, do as much root growing as it can possibly do, and then you want it to get so cold that the garlic goes dormant and waits for spring. And that way, when spring happens, it's got a fully developed root system or a, a well-developed root system, and it can put everything into reaching for the sun and starting to get sun energy and that sort of thing. So over the years I found, where I am anyway, the ideal time is, is somewhere around now, right? Just this past weekend, it's like a Tuesday, Tuesday evening after work, a little bit of sunlight left. And uh, this past weekend we had a couple nights, there was one night where it was supposed to go to three Celsius, and then last night it was something like that as well. Uh, there was a bit of uh, something like frost on my car windshield this morning. Uh, we've picked all the peppers and all the tomatoes out of the garden and all that sort of stuff. So it's time to, to plant. And, you know, it's, it's, these aren't hard, fast rules. I could have planted a week or two before, before this time. And, you know, I've planted garlic all the way up to the end of October, beginning of November. Um, but again, this, these are, I mean, you can plant it the last, you know, you can plant it the first week of November. Uh, I use a, you know, rough gauge, you know, Canadian Thanksgiving to American Thanksgiving, right? Um, but it's about getting that optimal root development before the ground gets so cold, the, the uh, clove shuts down, right? And it's different for everywhere. So I, for I, where I am, I think that's the ideal sort of situation. I've, I've planted them in September before, and they usually, the, the, the shoots will poke through the ground before everything freezes. So, you know, those, those little shoots that are sticking out of the ground, uh, they're going to die back over the winter and the plant will basically have to reinvest, invest what energy is left, right? That energy is wasted. It's got to find, you know, new energy to, <laughs> it's got to use, it's got to use up more energy, right? The plant's got X energy and now whatever went into that shoot before winter, it's X minus that, <laughs> right? Uh, to, to get overly mathematical. Um, so it's time to plant, okay? So I've got a bed here. <laughs> This was, uh, I had peas and potatoes growing here last year. And uh, I've had the bed, the bed's been prepared for a while. I should have covered this with something to prevent these weeds, but I didn't. Um, so um, yeah, I've got this weed situation here. It's been, uh, I spread compost over this. So I got a nice, you know, nice fertile soil and all that sort of stuff. And I got these darn weeds. So I'm just gonna pull all these weeds out. Won't take long at all. I'll fast forward through this and uh, take you through the next step when I'm done. All right, so now I've got the uh, the garden all uh, weeded. That didn't seem to take long. How long has this been running? 12 minutes? Probably spent four minutes talking at the beginning. Less than 10 minutes to get this all weeded and prepped and smoothed out. I mean, that was kind of already done before, but <laughs> I let it get weedy again. Um, anyway, this is ready to go. Now I gotta plant the garlic. So, 
I've got these uh, seed garlic that I set aside from, uh, you know, this, uh, this summer's garlic harvest. So now it's just a question of um, getting them out of the, you know, breaking them out without damaging the cloves and positioning them around the garden bed. Right, so these are uh, sort of nice, nice big fat ones, right? I mean, you know, buy certified seed garlic if you don't have any. Certainly don't try using them from the grocery store. They might work, they might not. That's the catch with using grocery store garlic. Um, with certified seeds, you know that they're, they don't have soil-borne diseases. And, uh, and also they've been harvested and stored the right way. Right, so, uh, so that you know they'll give up a good yield. Um, I've been doing this for a while, so I'm pretty confident this will work out just fine. Um, but what I do is I, I find the spot between the two cloves, right? And I work the knife in, and then I give the knife a, a little bit of a twist, just enough to pry them apart, and then I do the rest with my hands. Right, so you can see here, this one here, I, I, bro I did break off a bit of the skin here. Right, but this one here, I didn't break the skin. And even if you do break the skin, it's no big deal. Okay, but you, you, you try not to, right? So now this, this garlic gave me three nice big cloves. And if you want big garlic, plant big cloves. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna shuck this whole box of garlic and then I'm gonna space them out uh, in the bed before I, I plant them. Very easy to plant. This is all very easy to do. You know, there, there are some, you know, chore-like chore -like tasks uh, in the process. But if you don't like chore-like tasks, I, I don't think gardening's for you. <laughs> and some of these will come apart easily and I don't need the knife for them, right? And some of them, some of them don't, right? So sometimes you can just wiggle the you can just wiggle the stem and they'll come apart. This one here is not not working with me, so I gotta get the knife in. So you just again push it in between, give it a little quarter turn. That'll be enough to pop out one of the cloves. And then you can break the thing open and uh, get the rest of them. Right? So Alright, so let me do that real quick and uh, I'm gonna stick them in the ground. Show you how I do that. All right, so I've peeled all of these garlic. Now I'm going to position them in the bed. So when positioning these, I like to have them. Remember, this whole bed's going to be mulch, so there needs to be space between the, the row of garlic and the mulch for the mulch to go. All right, so I think about you know not a hand span, but something like. A fist or I don't know like my hands pretty wide but I, I plant them about six inches apart right usually you can just sort of um, as long as you're not damaging them if your soil is reasonably loose push them in the soil and when you're pushing them in the soil if you find a rock just set that aside right rocks are fine but sometimes they're they're in the wrong place I don't know about that one that one looks a bit gnarly so All right, so I'm just going to grab a bunch of these, get them in the ground. The trick with planting the garlic, I forgot to mention this, is like every one of these has like a little, little wispy, not every one, but most of them have this little pointy tip. See, there's, there's the tip right there, but then there's this little thing that usually hangs onto the skin. And I think as long as the soil is at that level. All right, so the actual tip of the guy looks a little bit below, and this is above. So it's like you're planting them an inch deep uh, above the, the top of the garlic. But basically, I just drive them until this thing, this little, the tip of this little thingy here is at soil level, right? They're pretty forgiving, but that's a general rule. That's how I do it. And of course, there's going to be mulch on top of this as well. Also, when I'm doing this, when I get little Little pieces like this is still a garlic. I see how it's like a third the width of this other one. 
So I just set those aside and use them in my cooking. You want big fat garlic cloves in the ground if you want to get big garlic. So this is a, a four by eight bed. And in my opinion, I got about enough room for one, two, three, four, about four rows of garlic, each garlic about six inches apart. Okay, I could probably get them a little tighter, but that's fine. So, and how many is that? That's uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, let's say that's about 15 times four. So that's 60, it's not exactly 15, so that's around 70 garlic, sometimes 80, right? Somewhere between there. It's between 60 and 80 garlic per four by eight bed, spaced evenly apart. That's about, um, you know, what you should shoot for. Any tighter than that, I find the results aren't as good. Also, uh, you want uh, really fertile soil, good sunny spot, right? People plant garlic and they get small garlic and they think, think their soil is no good, they think this is no good, they think that's no good. Uh, oftentimes, <laughs> it's just sun, right? They need a good sunny spot. And, I mean, you've got to think about when garlic are doing their growing. They're growing in April, May, and June. That's when they do all their growing. Different parts of gardens get different amounts of sun relative to the times of year, right? Um, so you need a bed that, that gets that. So last year they were over there, right? That's not as sunny a spot as this. The garden next to this is even sunnier, but there's something growing right there. And I like to just shift everything over a bed every year anyway. That's kind of my system. Keeps it simple, simple, easy crop rotation schedule. Uh, so this bed has good sun in those months, right? I got a lot of trees and stuff up here, but all the ones that put on leaves don't have any leaves in April and May, <laughs> or you know what I mean? The leaves are coming in, right? So there's really, and the sun's lower in the sky that time of year, right? Uh, so uh, the fact that there's, even though there's trees there, they're not casting as much shade as they're gonna cast in July and August, right? So this is a good spot for garlic. They should work out pretty good. had enough garlic there I needed one more clove but I got lots so it's no big deal so I actually added an extra row I figured I could get a few more into this space so I've got roughly one two three four five by what did I say this was like roughly at least 15 so five by 15 that's 75, around 80, because it's, it's, it's a little bit more than 15 per row. All right, so I got about 80 garlic uh, planted in here. Now I just notice I didn't cover any of them while I was doing all of that. All right, that it's just so you can see where they've been put, right? Just it's easier to stay organized that way. So everything's got a good, relatively good spacing. Right? I like to use my hands for this instead of using a tool. All right, so there, that's all done. That didn't take long. How long have I been filming for? 33 minutes. That's from start to finish. That's what the camera says. So, you know, I probably spent a good five minutes of that talking. So just, you know, in front of the camera. So let's say 25 minutes to 30 minutes to weed a book garden, prep it, plant the garlic. All that's left to do now here is mulch this bed. I don't have any mulch on hand uh, today, but I'm gonna get some uh, tomorrow. On my drive to work, I noticed some people putting leaf bags out 
uh, today, but I didn't have the time on the way to work. I didn't have time on the way home to just pull over in traffic and steal people's leaves. <laughs> but I'll leave early tomorrow for work. So I got lots of time to cruise the side streets and, uh, you know, snag some uh, leaf bags. Uh, so one of the great things about putting a mulch over the garden in the fall, it's kind of cold. So, you know, those leaves, I define leaves are an excellent mulch for garlic, probably, probably the best, in my opinion, get smaller leaves is sort of ideal. In the fall, they don't break down much, um, but they keep the soil cool on those warm, warm, sunny days like today. It was, you know, I don't know, five Celsius or something like that first thing in the morning, but in the afternoon it was 17 Celsius. Uh, so you got the sunlight shining down on the soil, heating the soil up, telling the garlic to grow. And you want the garlic to grow in so far as they're putting out roots, but you don't want them to think it's spring and it's warm and to start sending shoots up, right? Uh, so the great thing about the mulch is that it keeps the soil cool, right? So the soil's warm enough for the roots to develop, but it's not so hot that the plant thinks, oh my god, it's May, I better get going, right? That sort of thing. And the other advantage of the mulch is that it regulates the moisture level in the soil to optimal. Um, and because it's been sitting there and it's been rained on and frozen and melted and all that stuff all winter long, in the spring, when things start warming up again, when your garlic are growing, all of that mulch will start to gradually get broken down by the soil organisms. Every time it rains, all of that's, you know, poop, <laughs> different kinds of insect poop, uh, worm poop and microorganism poop, all that stuff is going to get washed down into your soil a little bit and the plants can take that all up. So it's like a fertilizer. So the mulch is crucial, right? I just don't have any to put on right now. But anyway, that's the general idea. That's felt like it was, you never know if some bear or deer is going to wander in the garden here. You just, I think it's just birds. Yes, it's just crows. There's like a, there's like a murder of crows on my lawn right now. No. Anyway, um, that's the basics for planting garlic, right? When there's that first risk of frost, you know, you check the, you know, this time of year, you check the, the forecast every day when it says there's a risk of frost, that's when you should really start thinking about getting your garlic in the ground. I mean, this is all I'm gonna do tonight. I, I tend to knock off a bed a night. I plant about three beds of this size, right? I plant about 250 heads of garlic a year. So once I've done three of these, 80 times three is 240. It's around 250, right? <laughs> right. So that's how I do it, right? Um, and I, I pick beds that are have good soil, good sun, optimal results. And that's all I grow in them is garlic. I used to interplant with onions and stuff like that. I find they they kind of, they don't have the right growing times. They, the garlic shade the onions, the onions don't get enough light. The garlic grow a lot faster than onions in the spring, so the garlic basically shade the onions when they need light. They don't work together. They work together, but they don't work together well. You don't get the best results. I mean, the best thing to do with a garlic bed, um, because we've got to remember, all the garlic are going to be harvested out of it end of July, beginning, beginning of August, right? So in August, you can move something into that garlic bed. Uh, I'm trying to wrap this video up, but I keep thinking of things to talk about. So I'm going to show you over here exactly uh, an example of that. Okay, so during the summer, spring and summer, this was a garlic bed. Right, when I pulled all the garlic out of here, that would have been in August, or end of July, early August, sometime around there, I thinned the kale that were in this bed, because they need to be thin. They do better when they're thin. Look how lovely these kale look. I thinned these kale, basically pulled the nicest ones out of the ground and replanted them over here. And I mean, look how, now these kale looked like crap for about two weeks, right? But look at them now. Look how beautiful they are, right? So this was a garlic garden all summer long. And now it's a wonderful fall kale garden. And the kale in this garden came from this kale garden. So it's like transplants. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.